So you've heard of Arduino and you're not really sure what it is. Well, that's what we're talking about in this week's video. Hey there everybody, my name's Adrian. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. So go hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on awesome new content every single week. So this is by no means an in-depth Arduino guide. It's just kind of going over uh, what it is and uh, what we're gonna be using it for for the Daft Punk Helmet project. So what is Arduino? Arduino is actually an open source platform that involves two separate parts. It's uh, software and hardware. The software part is the Arduino development environment or IDE and that allows you to easily write and upload code to the various Arduino boards. The second part, being the hardware, is uh, a lot of various boards. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and they basically are built around uh, microcontrollers, and they allow you to easily uh, program them using the IDE without having to use an IFB programmer like you used to have to do in the past. So this is a third party board based off of the Arduino architecture. There's lots of these different boards and all sorts of different shapes and sizes made by a lot of different manufacturers. And uh, they generally are all built around the Arduino architecture and are made to be able to use the Arduino IDE. So what's the difference between one or the other? We could really talk about that all day, so I'm just gonna cover a couple of boards and how we're gonna be using ours in the Daft Punk Helmet project. So this first board here is called an Uno. It's a great board, it allows you to do a lot of different things, but it does have limited IO functionality and it also has a limited processing power, just like most of the Arduino boards do. But this is a great all around board that you can do a lot of really cool projects with, control a lot of different things with, and it's not bad. That's why I've got about five of them on hand. But that won't cut it for our project. So we're gonna be using this, an ESP32 node MCU. So what's different about this board is it is centered around the ESP32 chip instead of the Atmel 328 chip that the Arduino Uno is based around. This chip has more processing power and also it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality. So the fact that it had the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality was really appealing to us for the Daft Punk Helmet project because it would be really cool to be able to control it remotely from a phone and change patterns and things like that. So we just wanted that functionality as well as also having it in a smaller package because it needs to fit inside of the helmet and just fitting this big board would have been a little bit more work. And what's really cool about this board is you can just program it using the Arduino IDE and the Arduino programming language after just installing some drivers. And then you get all of your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality out of it. And it also has a Hall effect sensor and a few other things, but those aren't relevant to our project. So as far as our project goes, this is kind of where we're at. I've had my buddy working on the code for the past few weeks and we've got the main code figured out for the fans and we've got a few different patterns. The next thing we have to start working on is the cardiogram, the little uh, equalizer, and the little scanner back and forth in the bottom piece of the helmet. Once we get the code all working well and all the kinks ironed out, we will be releasing it. So it will be available for download if you wanna use it in your own Daft Punk helmet project. So just be on the lookout for that. And also, if you wanna know more about the electronics that are being used on this project and uh, how the code was written and all that, uh, my buddy Steven will be posting a couple of videos on his YouTube channel, so go check that out. I will have the link in the description. But that pretty much covers this project so far. Next week, I'm gonna be doing a video on how to finish your 3D prints, and I'll be going over the process of how I finished the Daft Punk helmet and uh, how I'm getting it ready for molding and casting. So if you guys wanna see that video, just make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss it. And I will see you guys in next week's video.